Welcome to my YouTube page. Don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell to receive notifications. We've always asked Muslims this very important question. Why do you Muslims pray to Muhammad? But Muslims love to tell you that they do not pray to Muhammad, which is a total lie. And here's the proof. Here's the proof. Muslims in their five daily prayers, they say these many often repeated words. Watch. Assalamu alayka, ayyuhan nabi, wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabi wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Peace and Allah's mercy and blessings be on you, O Muhammad, O Prophet. Right? Peace and Allah's mercy and blessings be upon you, O Prophet, which is Muhammad. So when Muslims pray, when Muslims pray, they do that at least five times a day. They are calling upon Muhammad, peace be upon you Muhammad. So they are talking directly to Muhammad. Hi Muhammad, peace be upon you Muhammad. But wait, Muhammad is dead inside his grave for many centuries now. Why do you Muslims talk to Muhammad while praying? Why do you talk to Muhammad while praying? That's the question. Why do you do that? And you're doing this five times a day. If we go to chapter 33, Surah Al-Ahzab, Ayah 56, we can read, In Allah, we make it to you, Salluna ala nabi, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, Sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Now, if we read it from the Arabic, we understand that Allah and His angels pray on the Prophet. Allah and His angels pray on on the Prophet, you saluna ala nabi. And if that's not enough, we have even more disasters in the same ayah. What's that? The last part. The last part. Muslims must completely submit and surrender to the will of Muhammad. They have to surrender themselves, their selves, to Muhammad. Wow. So it's not enough that Allah prays, but the Muslims must completely surrender and submit to Muhammad. Wow. Yes, that's correct. So, you see, if we uh, can give you an example, let's say a priest or an imam would say, Ana usalli ala ar-rajul al-mayyit. Uh, Ana usalli ala ar-rajul al-mayyit. It means uh, the following, I am praying on the dead man. Ana usalli ala ar-rajul al-mayyit. I am praying on the dead man. So, it's praying. Usalli. Yusalluna. It means praying and praying only. Right? It means praying and praying only. So, Allah... For sure, Allah and His angels for sure pray on the Prophet. Allah is praying. To who does Allah pray when He prays? That's the one million dollar question. And if we go to Tafsir ibn Kathir for chapter 33, ayah 56, we can read Tafsir al Quran al Azim ibn Kathir. So the Tafsir, the commentary by ibn Kathir for this ayah. And we go down, we can read the following. An Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, from Ibn Abbas, we can read that the Bani Israel, they've asked Musa, and that's what they asked him, Hal yusalli rabbuk? Hal yusalli rabbuk? Does your Lord pray, O Moses? Does your Lord pray? Does Allah, your Lord Allah, the Islamic Allah pray? Then Allah asked him to come to him. Ya Musa, sa'aluk. So Moses, they asked you, Hal Yusalli Rabbuk, did they asked you, does your Lord pray? Faqul naam. So Allah answers to Moses, Faqul naam. Say to them, yes, Faqul naam. Confirm it that I, Allah, do pray. And Allah, He continues saying, Ana usalli. Ana usalli. And the angels uh, pray too. So Allah is praying. Faqul naam. So Allah confirms it and He says, yes, I do pray. Ana usalli. Did you catch it? Here Allah confirms that he does pray. So to who does Allah pray when Allah prays? Wow. And that's the reason actually why the ayah came down. That's the reason why the ayah came down. 
And you see here, here Ibn Kathir is trying to defend Allah, but he's actually making a huge confusion. And the problem is that non-Arabic speaking Muslims, which are the more than 75% of the Muslim population, they cannot read the Arabic and understand it. So they are dependent on false translations by Ibn Kathir. The false translation of Ibn Kathir that does not contain this hidden message from the mouth of Ibn Abbas confirming confirming that Allah actually does pray فَقُلْ نَعْمْ أَنَا أُصَلِّي Allah is telling to Moses yes say to them I am praying I am praying I pray I pray Allah is saying I pray yes say to them yes I Allah pray so this is the correct translation that we had to provide for you because you won't find this English translation on let's say quranx.com for Ibn Kathir. Muslims left this part out to <laughs> basically hide this from Muslims who do not know Arabic because it will cause mass confusion and many Muslims who do not know Arabic when they read this in Ibn Kathir they will get doubt in their hearts about Islam and here is why we have to provide our own translation for the part that I read for you here when Allah confirmed that he actually does pray so this is my translation for Ibn Kathir Tafsir for chapter 33 ayah 56 does Allah pray that's the question does Allah pray here is Ibn Kathir from the mouth of Ibn Abbas the people of Israel said to Moses does your Lord pray does Allah pray his Lord Allah called him Moses so Allah called Moses saying oh Moses they asked you if your Lord prays say to them yes I do pray Allah is confirming yes I do pray and my angels pray upon my prophets and my messengers and Allah then sent down on his messenger Allah and his angels pray Allah and his angels pray did you catch it so Allah does confirm that he is praying Allah prays but wait when Allah prays to who does Allah pray that's the one million dollar question so do you see how they hide this part from the mouth of Ibn Abbas from the English translation that you won't find on any translated work of Ibn Kathir so we Christians have to cross that red line that Muslims don't dare to cross especially those non-Arabic speaking Muslims which are more than 75% of the Muslim Ummah the Muslim nation on this planet so do you see how Allah prays? Allah confirms it right? Allah confirms it فَقُلْ نَعْمْ فَقُلْ نَعْمْ Allah is confirming yes I do pray say to them yes I do pray did you catch it? Wow! So to who does Allah pray when Allah prays? Please, I demand an answer, Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> and the last part, وَسَلِّمُ تَسْلِيمًا means actually the following. If we use an example here in Google Translate, you can see what it actually means. Surrender yourself to the enemy. تُسَلِّمْ نَفْسَكْ لِلْعَدُو so you have to surrender yourself to the enemy and if we add one plus one we can read in chapter 33 ayah 56 it means action and submit and surrender yourselves to Muhammad so it's not enough that Allah prays and the angels pray on Muhammad and all the Muslims must pray on Muhammad it, if that's not enough you have to submit and surrender yourselves as Muslims to Muhammad you have to submit and surrender yourselves to Muhammad to Salim surrender or submit did you catch it was Salimu to Salim was Salimu Taslima Taslima to Salim surrender or submit so do you see as a Muslims you're actually the slave of Muhammad you're not only the slave of Allah you're also the slave of Muhammad did you catch it so all the Muslims must pray on Muhammad and you have to surrender and submit to Muhammad. Wow, and that's not paganism. 
That's not a worship of a man who died 1400 years ago. Wow. Muslims, wake up, man. Wake up. And here's another example. Watch. As you see, to sallim means surrender, submission to the will of Muhammad. To sallim, as we showed you, to sallim. So Muslims, why do you call yourself monotheists? You are not monotheists. You worship Allah, but at the same time, you worship Muhammad. And <laughs> you surrender yourself to Muhammad. And we showed you that you Muslims, when you pray, you pray five times a day. Again, you pray five times a day to Muhammad directly. Watch. As-salamu alayka, ayyuha nabi wa rahmatullah wa barakatu. As-salamu alayka, ayyuha nabi wa rahmatullah wa barakatu. Peace and Allah's mercy and blessings be upon you. Who? Upon you, Muhammad, O Prophet. So this is why you are nothing but idolaters. You are mushrikun. You associate partners with Allah, which is Muhammad in this case, the partner of Allah. Did you catch it? This is crystal clear shirk. How many more evidence, how many more proof do we need to provide to you Muslims? Wake up please. Stop calling yourself monotheists. You worship Allah and Muhammad at the same time. Please share our videos on social media. Let my videos go viral. Because till today, Muslims think that they are monotheists. But <laughs> on the other hand, in reality, they are nothing but pagans. They are not monotheists. They actually worship Muhammad. And they have to pray on him. They have to pray to him. And they have to completely surrender their selves to the will of Muhammad. If that is not idolatry, if that is not paganism, associating Muhammad as a partner with Allah, then I do not know the meaning of paganism and idolatry. Thanks for watching and God bless. And I hope you're watching. <sighs> Quite unfortunate. That does it! Oh! Oh! oh. Canada! That's not good. Self-destruct sequence has initiated.